residential real estate in Metro Atlanta for the last seven days. What's happening? Are we still growing listing inventory? Does that even matter that listing inventory is growing? Are sellers seemingly settled in today's market? Or are they in control like they were a few months ago? What's happening to the volume of closings? Is it slowing down or is it staying consistent? 3,196 new listings for the week. 1,968 homes under contract. Think about that. That's about 1,200 additional listings than we had homes go under contract. What does that mean? That means that inventory at the end of those seven days was 1,200 higher than the beginning. We had 3,075 home sellers make a reduction. Listen to that, Atlanta. 3,075 home sellers made a reduction in their price for the week. What does that mean for home sellers in Metro Atlanta? It means you need to get your price right. Now, that does not mean you need to price it below what the market thinks it's worth because the reality is market values are still up something like 14% year over year. They're just not up 20%. And some sellers are pricing so far out ahead of the market that they can't just get the they can't get the buyers to buy into it. Again, 1,968 homes under contract, 2,506 homes closed for the week. More new listings flowing into the market than homes going under contract means more opportunities for buyers to get out there and be able to find their dream home. Is it worth moving forward to buy your dream home Dream home when the interest rates are up just a little bit? Yes. I'm not saying it's right for you and you and you. What I'm saying is, is if it makes sense for you and your family to own a home, whatever your descript- the description of family is for you, if it makes sense for you to buy a place to live and you can afford it without spending too much of a percentage of your income, then it makes sense for you to move forward. 2,506 closings. I would say closings this year are probably going to be down somewhere 10 to 12% in Metro Atlanta. We were probably about even year over year through the end of April. May, we started to see a shift. June and July have been the slower months of the year, but that's really because all of the changes in interest rates started happening 60, 90 days before that. And real estate is is always two or three months behind the activity that took place that actually causes the market. So when the buyers put a home under contract or start looking, normally closing happens two or three months later. If you are a home seller, you still have plenty of opportunities. I haven't seen an up-to-date accounting of the months of in- inventory throughout Metro Atlanta, but I'm guessing we probably have somewhere around two months worth of inventory. If we have under four months worth of inventory, it is a seller's market. So it is still a good time for a seller to sell a home.